Hey everybody, Captain Gavtron here, and welcome to my next Let's Play. And I've been wanting to do this Let's Play for a while. Uh, do you want to create... Oh, so you can already see what it was. I was kind of hoping you weren't going to see it until we started. But that's okay. So as you can see, I'm playing Sly Cooper. This is the um, Let's Play that I started before my computer died back uh, last year in 2012. Oh, no, it was 2012. Last year was 2013. <laughs> but anywho, so yeah, and I just thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and jump back into this game, you know, and try to get it done. Because this is a good game. A very good game. I when I first got my first PlayStation 2, this is one of the first games that I got with the PS2. And I've got to say, it's one of my favorites. I also have to say that uh, it's not my favorite of the series. I mean, back when this game was the first game, it was pretty darn awesome. Here, I'll finish what I was saying later. Let's go ahead and start the cutscene. I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to get that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Anywho, like I was saying. So, uh... Yeah, this game, back when this game came out, it, it was, and it still is one of my favorites. However, the second and third game are far better than this one. Although, you know, this is the first game, they were just playing around with this thing what they could do and it, they made a good game you know so uh we're gonna do what bentley said and go this way oh. hey bentley i think i'm seeing things must be vertigo or something can you see those crazy blue lights really i've read about this master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master <coughs> thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Alright, so hold down the circle button. I've got to get used to these controllers, man. But this is a pretty simple game. I mean, it can get pretty difficult. But I'm going to try to get through this first game as quickly as possible. Okay, I'll try not to talk during the cutscenes, but yeah, I'd very much like to... Oop, that's my phone there. Behind the red door. There it is. Wow, someone's really texting me. <laughs> Okay, Bentley, I'll go out the window. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, we're just going to go ahead and do what Bentley says here. Bentley's the boss. Bentley's in charge. Okay, oh yeah, we're going to go, go here. Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Okay, so nine past three and seven. All right. Nice job. You got it. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. <coughs> 
I love how he leaves his little calling a card. I guess you wouldn't call it a calling card, but he leaves proof that he was there, you know? He's not shy about it either. <laughs> but anywho, alright, let's get out of here. Go meet Murray. Ooh, cutscene. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Okay, so... Carmelita will shoot you and she will kill you. In this game, it's one-hit kills. Well, unless you have a lucky charm. If you collect 100 coins, you get a lucky charm. And that lucky charm will give you a second hit. If you get 200 coins... Well, if you get an extra 100 coins after having... your 100 coins that you already have, it'll give you a second... Whoa! She almost got me there. You kind of have to juke her out a bit sometimes, because she will predict where you're going and... Ooh, she almost got me there, y'all. You can't escape me, raccoon! Yes, we can, Carmelita! <laughs> Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievius raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Uh, roger I've that, Bentley. i a route to our first target. Okay, I guess that's where we're going next. Okay, there's Bentley. And what's Murray? <laughs> He's eating peanuts, huh? Oh, you want... One? <laughs> One. <laughs> That sounds like something I would do, you know? I've already plotted a route to our Okay, first guys. Oh, how are you talking without your mouth moving, Bentley? Anywho. So I guess we will start... That was really just basically the intro level. We'll start the first level. There's... There's only five levels to this game. It's a short game. And I'm going to try to blow through it as quickly as possible. Because I'm really wanting to get to the second and third game. Because... This first game can be a little boring if you're loving the second and third game. Because, honestly, after I played the second and third game, I think I played the first game one more time after that. And the other ones, I played them seven or eight times. And, you know, it's just 
so much better than the first game, you know, but that's usually how it goes. It's a lot like, you know, Jack and Daxter, which I do intend to do a Let's Play on those. But anywho, so in the next episode, we are going to, we're pushing 10 minutes here. In the next episode, we will go to the first level and uh, try to get this going. See what we can get done. Alrighty, guys. Peace out.